All right, greetings family. Greetings. Welcome greetings. to Come Africa. On. Welcome to Ghana. Welcome to the motherland. Yeah. Welcome to the journey of a lifetime. Yeah. So family, for those who are watching, ooh, the things we do because we love Africa. Ooh. But I'll tell everyone, don't give up on your dreams. Don't let these folks stop you from getting to Africa because we went through a whole bunch of situations where many people have been discouraged and things like that from COVID tests there to COVID tests here to health forms to, you know, showing this and showing that. Yeah, sure. uh, so anyone that's traveling with us in the future of Ghana, uh, we just usually load up all of the information on WhatsApp, but you have to be open and willing to read it and clear on it uh, that way. And the smoother you can do those things, the better your preparation. So we're on the way to the Micklin Hotel where we're gonna be staying for four days. And while we're staying there, what I have in our tour book is the quote unquote exact schedule that we're gonna be uh, going by. Uh, so um, then one, uh, what I'll do also is I'm gonna be sending messages on WhatsApp. So you can log on to the free Wi-Fi. That way in the morning, you can check the WhatsApp and, or check it at night and you'll see if we have any updates and things like that. And then if anyone that has to communicate with me, call me or send me a message. We're all on the same network, so you can just send me a message. And that's what I've been doing as far as testing people, as far as just sending a message so we can communicate. So that's how we move around in this situation. All of our staff members are also on that group page. Uh, so that's the, the form of our organizing. So the, the schedule is as exact as it can. So I would just recommend everyone just try to get up at seven o'clock, have breakfast, and then just wait around by 8.30. And based on when the bus is ready and everything is ready, we'll roll out. Uh, so those are the time frames that you'll see in the book. You'll see times from between eight to nine. Uh, we usually don't leave out any earlier, and then we usually definitely don't leave out any later than that. Uh, and, and the book is as best, of, we may have to make some adjustments to flow, but uh, it's as best as we can do. One thing uh, we have set up for tomorrow is a citizenship conference. I want everyone to put their money down if, they, if they're open to it and fill out the paperwork uh, for to be a part of the Ministry of the Future, which is an organization that process your citizenship and help you with residency and things like that. So, so that is uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening after dinner, once we finish our dinner at the hotel. So that's about seven o'clock. Next day after that, the 27th, we have a full repatriation and investment business conference. So that's where you're gonna meet all kind of people, you know, Ghanaians, folks in the diaspora, people doing business, people doing presentation, talking about the land that we have. Um, you know, we have, we have builders, we have shippers, we have people do utilities, uh, people do infrastructure, and this is all in support of our own community that we have, the 15 plus 57 acres, total of 72 acres, uh, community that we're gonna visit on Saturday coming up. And, and all those things are just uh, laid out in Accra for the first four days where it's kind of busy. But you know, once we leave Accra, it kind of slow down little by little. But uh, that's uh, what we have set up as far as those two important conference uh, to get us everything that we need for those who are looking to live and do business in Africa. And for those who are not, just uh, keep your mind open. You can still join and come and socialize and network. And then once you decide to come back in the future, all of the people that's on our staff, our crew, you know, they're always willing and always open to connecting with you. And you can always hire them to do jobs, missions, or you know, work on things for you. Because that's what you're gonna always need when you're trying to get here and you're back and forth. Yeah. You need people on the ground that has yeah. your back. So that's what we have set up. And even the Micken Hotel, uh, it's not that five-star Marriott Hotel that's right there, but as you can see always, family, we drive by that five-star Marriott Hotel and the Hilton and all this stuff that they have right here in Airport City. And we go to the Micklin Hotel because it's all about supporting black operation, but it's also having a good feel in the country. Having the most fanciest, nicest hotel doesn't mean it's gonna be a better journey. You know? uh, the compound that we're in, it's a nice social neighborhood. So the best advantage of the Micklin Hotel is the fact that you can walk out to the left or the right and you're in a whole neighborhood and you can get access to anything that you need. Uh, when we do nightlife or social nightlife, most of the places that we go out to is right there. So very, you know, very convenient location. And then we have people there that's, you know, the shoppers come to you. Um, nothing I can really do about that. Um, they, they're eager to see their brothers and sisters and eager to, you know, do business. So I want to find out if uh, anyone have any questions on anything uh, so we can dialogue and talk about it now and then I get you all set up at the hotel in a few. That is dangerous. <laughs> so anybody have any questions? Anything you want to talk about? Yeah, I know. I have a 
friend that I met at the airport. Uh, mm -hmm. She wanted to know when we're going to the Slave Dungeon so she could meet up with us. Uh, yeah, you can forward the schedule. Right? Um, yes, yeah, you can forward the schedule to her. Um, that's gonna be in a. That's gonna be end of the week. But you can look at the schedule and you can tell her so, and communicate with her. Uh, you say okay. she's trying to come with us? No, she said she wanted to meet us there. Oh yeah, she can always meet us there and then she can always see us at One Africa. Oh, okay. So, what about the repatriation uh, networking that she? Uh, the, the conference of public for our folks in Africa and our folks in the diaspora. It's a free free conference that we put together. And things so anyone that knows about it, hear about it, or see the information that was sent, they can join, they can oh, okay. come to the Micklin Hotel and that's where the conference is gonna be held. Yes, and then you just ask to you know anybody there where we're having a meeting because there's three different conference rooms. So they'll just let you know which conference room is okay. gonna be the one that we're using. Mm -hmm. the, the first one we're using is the smaller one, and the next one is the second bigger one, and the third one, the third biggest conference room we're not gonna use. But it's confusing if we tell people that. But once you get there. You know, so you'll see the energy in the conference room. Mm -hmm. so Is there an air conditioner in the room? Oh uh, yes, there's air conditioning room and hot water. Okay. And the only time you may not get those things is when we're on One Africa. We're on a resort right down the ocean uh, for three days. But other than that, the other seven days you're here, you have Micklin Hotel in Accra and Micklin Hotel in Kumasi. And you have all the basic things you need, including a pool, a nice bar, restaurants, and things like that. And they're both in a nice walking neighborhood. And one Africa is that she just right down the beach in paradise. Most of the time, you're not even going to be in a room. Oh, perfect. You want to go to the mall? So the mall is not on the schedule, but the mall is right across the street. And what we usually do is um, when we're coming back in, if anyone wants to get dropped off by the mall, we drop them off by the mall, and then we have one or two of our, our, our guys. Just, uh, make sure that you're good there in the mall, oh, okay. so we can. So the, 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 yeah, the next uh, two days when we come back in, we're doing business kind of citizenship conference and business conference, so it'll be kind of tight. But Friday is an ideal time, and then if we just need to get you there, in general, we can just get definitely get you there. Are you near a mosque in Lake Eastergon? There's a mall in Eastergon, but the mall that people talk about. Um, yeah, we'd have to ask um Mohammed is the, the guy with the gray shirt. I don't know why he's filming, why he's driving and doing all of this. He's filming but, um, <laughs> everybody, I think I've, 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 I've influenced everybody to be paparazzi. I remember this, <laughs> traveling to Africa with a camera in 2004, but now it's like a popular thing now. <laughs> now I'm in, literally inspired people and I'm in, very proud of it because when we were recording yeah. videos in Africa, we didn't really know what, how it will work. And then next thing you know, we saw seeing people doing many things, not saying that they did it because of us. you're the first one I saw on YouTube. Yeah, and then we, and before that, we were selling like VHS tape. We're not, we're not, we're not even selling because we don't we do that. We're just we're giving them away. VHS tape, making DVDs back in the days to countries that we don't really go to anymore. But just trying to just do something and... Um, now we're here. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it, the energy is strong now. And I hear people going to this country, that country, and, and I hear people who talk about building communities. Remember, probably when we, we first met, there wasn't a lot of people talking about these communities. Now, yeah. now people are getting land, they're putting their money together. Group economics. So I'm telling people that, you know, you never know how you might influence people. So let's keep doing what we're doing as a people family, influence the world. And, you know, in the next 10 years, man, this is going to be the this is going to be the place of black folks in the diaspora. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have to start to win. And I started in Senegal and uh, five countries later, I ended up in Ghana, and then Ghana was it. But the good thing about you guys, you, you guys came to the right country the first time. <laughs> So you don't have to do the other, you can still do the exploring, but uh, we're, we're basically doing all of it for you and showing you everything, man. But to lay the foundation. Lay the foundation for the future. But anybody have any questions about anything, are you just all excited, ready to get to your room? Yeah. Well, breakfast is like... Our breakfast is 7 o'clock in the morning. 7? Okay. And um, I would encourage you to talk to the kitchen and tell them to bring out more fruits and anything else. It's uh, based on what you request, that's what they do. Other than that, you're getting a um, basic con continental breakfast. Oh, okay. And it's uh, 7 o'clock. No so they have, they have the you know, honestly, I can't <laughs> say that it won't be on there because I've seen strange things on there. I just, I just eat fruits um, for breakfast. Um, and, and, uh, so it's in not an American breakfast, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, I don't know what kind of breakfast it is. You just got to let, yeah. let, the, let them know what you want. Okay. 
dinner is already based on all the things that we eat, and then lunch is what you order. So breakfast is going to be the only problem that you're going to have. Um, um, what we're, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use the tip money that we collect and we're going to use that to pay for water and other things so that way people don't have to keep on coming out of their pockets of money. I'm not you know, because you ever went somewhere, every minute they like, they hold yes. your hands out and they're like, yo, I don't have paid you all this money already. Well, I got to keep on coming out of my pocket. Yeah. So the tip money is a final payment to close out um, many things, including the guys that's gonna be helping you, and the people that's gonna be providing services for you. So that's oh, okay. how we uh, work that system. Okay. okay. So, so what did you say about water? Oh, uh, water once. Yeah, it's uh, 50 US dollar for the group tip for the whole time. I know uh, water is provided uh, using that money for the whole duration. So the goal is to have as much water on the bus, and then if you need to take water from the bus into your room, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Um, we just don't want water to be a problem because. We had a situation where somebody got dehydrated yeah, and it was right, not right. it was not worth it. Yeah, so right. if you have water on the bus and water all available, you end up encouraging people to drink water. Other than that, sometimes right. we won't drink water for days. Right. And then you're gonna end up hurting yourself here. Yeah. And, you know? So so family, we're coming up on a Mickey Hotel. Uh, that's a whole lot um, of introductions and things that we have to go through. But uh, just want to share with you this family, we are always about it. So going to close on this session. My brother's going to give you a little view of the Mickman from it. It looks different when we're not here. <laughs> yes, brother. So, so family journey continues. Yes.